Okay, I'm finally getting to this um, tag, though it's not quicker than the other one I want to do, but um, the Why I Love Witchcraft um, Happy Witch Tag from Kelly Ann Maddox. So, um, 10 questions. Um, one, what makes you happiest about the fact that you're a witch? Candles. Um, the connection with fire can bring new life and destruction. Same with water. Um, but <laughs> um, just the exploration of like candle magic and um, yeah. <laughs> um, which practice do you tend to enjoy the most in your witchcraft and why? Making a cup of tea, lighting that candle, and just enjoying that moment. <laughs> and then, and second would be reading. Um, three, how have you changed in positive ways as a result of practicing the craft? I like, like, I've enjoyed reading, but, um, just, I'm reading a lot more and just exploring more. Um, so, just like the exploration into new things. So, there's that. Um, what has, uh, for what has been the most positive result have you had from a spell or ritual? I haven't really done enough to answer that question. Um, so, um, how has the craft enriched the lives of others? Like I've done a reading for a few people that I've known, so like tarot readings for a few people that I've known, but um, they haven't really said anything. Um, my dad isn't pagan, but any kind of like herb video or book that I come across, I'm like, here you go. And he enjoys that, so. Um, six, what are the most what are you looking most looking forward to trying in your craft and why? Um, more tea book, I mean candle books and candle related stuff. Um, I'm wanting to do like um, Mavon, Salvin, Yule, and Imbolc cooking baking. So I want to try those. Um, So, I'm just like furthering my path as like someone who does focus on candles and stuff. Um, seven, what do you like the most about the about which community on online and or offline? I like that there is that people are talking to each other, people are meeting up with each other, <laughs> whether virtually or in person. Um, I haven't really got a community offline where I am at, but that's, it's depressing. I'm in a larger city, um, but, um, I am trying to do commu the community thing online, so I'm trying. Um, eight, how do you envision your craft evolving positively in the future? 
So um, once I'm able to get my own place, have an area where I can do like the candle stuff, to do more of the um, stuff that I would want to do, like I want to try cooking and baking, so <laughs> I know I'm not the greatest, but I want to improve on that. Um, uh, just add a little more witchy stuff into my routine, which I could likely start now, but um, do more of that. Uh, nine, how do you keep your witchcraft practice healthy, happy, and productive? I do take a few days off of like reading. Um, I try to have um, a candle, whether it's an uh, actual candle or a battery operated one, going for a little bit every day. It, like, it connects to that happy place. Um, but yeah, not totally worrying that I have to add every single little bit of witchiness into my day. Um, yeah. And 10, what is one piece of advice you would share with other witches to help them make their path more positive? Don't compare. Don't get everything at once. You'll find your rhythm, your own path eventually. I'm still working on mine. Um, you don't need to go jump in the deep end. <laughs> you can stay in the shallow end for as long as you need to and move your way down. So yeah, that's the happy witch tag. Hope you like <laughs> hope you liked and um, watch Kellyanne Ma, Kellyanne's original video and there are other um, videos out there in response to her video so yeah happy readings